Hello, welcome to Gaga Side Out. Um, today, I mean tonight, I'm going to continue the video readings. Uh, this time, it's going to be from uh, Cancer to Virgo, and it's going to be about uh, the enemy, friend, and romantic prospect card readings. So. Um, if you're new to the channel, hello, my name is Kaka, and if you've been a subscriber, welcome back. Thank you so much for subscribing. And, um, for personal readings, uh, please send me a message on my Facebook page, that'll be Tarot Readings by Kaka. Um, or you can send an email at kakaozideout at gmail.com. Again, this is a general reading, so it's for fun only. And... Although, I hope it will resonate, I still wish for you to be cautious when, you know, taking advice from what the cards are saying. So, take it however it resonates to you. Um, so for, uh, I'm going to explain the type of reading I'm going to do today, uh, tonight. So, per Zodiac sign, I'm going to pull out uh, three cards for three people so it's going to be um, three cards for the possible enemy um, three cards regarding um, people that you should trust or your friends and people that you should choose to love so uh, first card will be about uh, the description of the person, may it be the enemy, the friend, or the the romantic prospect. Second card will be the best thing to handle them. And third card will be the possible outcome, uh, if you do as advised. So, in this case, we're going to start with Cancer. So, I'm going to ask the tarot cards, what are the... Uh, what type of person should cancer be very aware of? Should cancer be very careful to deal with? So, possible enemies. There, one last shuffle. Or cancer, please. So, you should be aware, cancer, for. Someone who someone who is realizing something about their emotions. So there might be I want to clarify this just to make sure before I say anything else. Where's the seven of cups here, please, for cancer? Position, travel, or multitasking. There is someone who already made up their mind as to how are they going to proceed. And it seems like they're deciding too quickly. Maybe disregarding your situation with them. This can be a family member, a friend, or, or I don't know. Yeah family member, friend, or a romantic prospect who have promised something to you but then they realize something and they are deciding to go for it and um, I'm feeling that there is a big possibility that you're going to be left out in the situation and that's going to be the reason for the conflict. So you should be aware of this person and I want to pull up another clarifier. Why is the chariot here? What is the decision of this person that will harm or will compromise or will, yeah, will harm cancers 
situation. I see rejection and the lack of faith and commitment or in a relationship. So it seems like you have been too comfortable that this person will be in the picture no matter what. And then all of a sudden they realize that maybe you've been taking them for granted or they feel rejected, they feel sad that they're all alone and they realize that they deserve something else or something better and they're deciding to leave. And it seems like since he or she feels rejected, you'll feel he, she, he or she is going to make sure that you feel the same way. And because of that, whatever commitment uh, she implied in the past is no longer applicable. So be careful of who you're not you know who about the people you're you're not sending messages to you're ignoring them or maybe all they need is a simple hello a simple how are you because they feel rejected they feel emotional about not having enough attention or not having a time to relax because of you not having um, you know a chance to decide on your own because of you. So maybe they look okay on the surface, like it's okay, I can still take it. But deep inside, they're actually contemplating on leaving you behind, and that's where the conflict begins. So that's for you, Cancer. And let's see what's the best way to handle this person. Don't give up on them. They may, ha they may make you feel like, you know, it's a dead end that they cannot be uh, convinced to stay within your walls or within within the family, within the group, within within the partnership. So don't don't give up on them. It seems like this person only needs attention or reassurance that we're still a team, you're still part of the team. You're still part of this this group, you're still part of this family, you're still part of this partnership. So don't give up on them. So they may be doing something that, you know, annoys you. Or maybe you're just busy, you don't have any time for them. So yeah, it seems like that person is being too emotional about how things are going. So yeah, don't give up on them. And what will be the possible outcome? If that will be the case. Outcome for cancer face and this person with a possibility to be his or her enemy. He or she is going to make a lot of demands. He or she is going to uh, going to Yeah, make a lot of demands, uh, try to dominate you. So, I want to clarify this. Why? Because maybe it's your fault you've been ignoring them for so long. So, let's see. Why is the Emperor reversed here, please, for cancer? Why is the Emperor reversed here for cancer?
I want to read it because I have to absorb the words. Mm. It seems like the cost of them being loyal to you means being stuck in a situation that they don't like. Or lacking the courage to do something new. Yeah, so that's why they're going to end up demanding a lot from you. So don't give up on them. Um, this has got something to do with working hard. Maybe this don't give up on them is... Um, not giving up on them, uh, turning into someone who will compromise. Mm. So, he or she is going to demand a lot of things because he or she has been in a situation that he or she doesn't really like because of you. And the advice is for you not to give up on her because he may, he or she may look formidable. Just he or she is the emperor. It's just that he or she is reversed. So he may look someone that will demand a lot once they do. But this is like a hopeful card that whatever opposition. You're going to face you go you will be able to handle it so this is an indication that there is a hope for a compromise so yeah don't give up on his or her i mean him or her uh, i'm running out of candles let me fix my candles okay just a moment So therefore, we, uh, no, this is possible enemies, possible, uh, the person who will possibly give problems and chaos within, uh, your situation. So let's start this time, which among the people around you should you trust right now? So for cancer, please. I should just for cancer regarding friendship, please. someone within your circle that is um, experiencing a big change so this is the person that you should trust this is the person that you should you know rely on and get close to let me see why He or she is going to provide freedom. I'm sensing that this is financial. Or some sort of an enlightenment. There is something that you're stuck with that is currently avoiding you to do things that you like, do things that you don't, uh, uh, preventing you to do things that you planned or you liked in the first place. And that person is going to give you freedom from it. Yes, I sense it's something financial. 
maybe he or she is going to provide something that will allow you to uh, allow you more freedom maybe in the schedule maybe in expenses budget but yeah or some sort of a bondage in your situation wherein you can't let go of it maybe uh, uh, Maybe before you can't travel, maybe before you can't decide on your own, and all of a sudden this person comes in, uh, the situation, his or her situation changed, and that will allow you to do what you like this time because he or she is there. So yeah, that's the type of person that you need to get close to. And what is the possible outcome? I mean, no. what's the best thing to do when this person arrives? So you're going to handle some sort of injustice. So yeah, I think this is financial. Maybe there is some sort of a legal issue coming up, coming up, or. That has been that that has not been handled lately, and you need you need to complete the process, or there is some sort of an idea that didn't work out before, and now she's here, you can finally start it. It's just that this is a bad timing, so maybe you need to settle this injustice first, and through her or him. I'm seeing the, the lady with the, the scale, that's why I said her. So yeah, through that person, um, you will be given a chance to pursue something that has been very unfair to you. So what will be the possible outcome if you're going to do is advise it? So. These cards fell up. Financial stability. Although it's not that grand, the money may not be that big, but still you'll be resourceful enough to, you know, find other means where you don't need to spend a lot. And something's about to go down, something's about to, you know, uh, transform. Something's going to be destroyed in order for you to have something new to build. And you will have to cancel uh, travel plans or, or relaxation uh, plans for the meantime in order to settle that injustice uh, or that legal issue so there so again uh, try to befriend or get close to a person who had been or who is currently undergoing a big change and I have a feeling that this is financial okay so next, unnecessary change. <laughs> ah, these baby creams. Okay, four romantic prospects. If you're single, which person should you go for? If you're married, how are you going to handle um, your current relationship? So, for cancer. Cancer. <clears throat> if you're single, Go for someone mysterious, 
emotional, possibly cancer, another cancer, or someone dreamy, someone uh, in touch with their spirituality and emotions. So that's the, if you're single, that's the type of person you should uh, get involved with. But if you're in a relationship or you're married, go for, um, a, approach any partnership issues on an emotional way. Like, always think how are they going to feel if you decide about this, if you're going to decide like that, you know, always um, think about the emotional effect of a decision towards your partner or their loved ones. So that's the first card about love prospects or romantic prospects. So Why is the moon card here? Why they should go for that person? Okay. There have been a lot of things going on in your life that has something to do with material things. And I'm feeling like you're losing the emotional side of the situation. There, it seems like that person is going to balance the the scales, like if you're on a practical side of the situation, or if, or if you're thinking about the practical aspects of a situation, um, that person that you need to choose is someone that who will connect you to the emotional side of the situation. And it's very important for you because you're a cancer, you're not supposed to lose connection with your emotions, right? So, yeah. But if you're married, you are advised to, um, yeah, same thing. Look into the emotional effect of a decision. So, if you're going to buy something, if you're going to, to, you know, not disclose something about someone or something else how how is your partner going to feel about this how are, how is your partner going to feel about your decision that's the main keyword or the, the main uh, idea of the advice so let's see what the cards will say what will be the possible outcome if we're going to do is advice So what we're going to do is advise the possible outcome is there will be less worry about finances. There will be less worry about, um, you know, there will be less worry about how they perceive their, their, the security of their situation, they are going to, or you, it's either them or you or both of you, are going to stop being paranoid if you invested your money and your effort in the wrong person or in the wrong way. So this is going to be the result. So there, yeah, that's for can cancer. Now for Leo. Leo, what type of person should they be careful with? Possible enemies, possible envious people, okay. Queen of Swords, someone that will confront them. They should be aware about it's either a man or a woman, but more likely a, a woman who might 
disclose some secrets or well so she's upright so she's not going to invent anything but she is honest she is assertive she is decisive but the negative part of this is that she doesn't seem to care if you're going to be scandalized by whatever she says whatever she does she doesn't care so you have to be careful with this woman or this person you're Leo so you don't want your reputation you know to uh, you don't want your reputation tainted and this won't care about your reputation if she thinks something's wrong she's going to tell you she's going to point it out she will never care if you're pissed if you're going to lose something or you're going to be seen in a bad light as long as it's true she's going to say it this person is going to disclose whatever she, whatever it is that she knows like by hook or by crook so be careful with her um, let me see what's the best way to handle her what's the best thing to I mean for Leo to do oops okay try again so it seems like you you pissed her off because she's quick to temper you've pissed her off and there's a possibility that she might you know, explode anytime, any anytime soon. Or if it, if it's in the future, this can be um, someone that never really liked the way you handled your the business or your business, and she's going to point it out. And this is the advice you need to try again, and maybe this time you need to try again based on her terms but you're a leo maybe you'll end up with a compromise because you don't like to be bossed around you're a leo so try again that's the advice and the possible outcome if you're going to do is advised you're going to do is advised <clears throat> You're going to turn her into a mushy, emotional, have it your way then kind of woman or kind of person. So yeah, this is a person who is willing to give their all, give their, you know, uh, give their talent and use their skills. You're going to turn her into this. If you're going to try a different angle or a different approach on the situation, possibly have it her way, then you're in good hands. So that's a possible outcome. Now, for Virgo, I know this is for the type of person that you need to befriend. Or get closer to this is about someone who had had enough if this is like this it's someone who's enduring everything and this is someone who's fed up so go for someone who's just like this just like what is advised here go for someone who will try a new angle who will try a new approach on their situation because they cannot handle it anymore so yeah that's the type of person that you need to befriend or you need to get closer to and why hmm it seems like it's either you or the other person 
or the two of you are going to end up manifesting something or yeah you're going to showcase a talent or a skill and it'll end up great so it's either you alone and the this person the one that's the one who would like to try something new is going to help you uh, showcase your talent or showcase a skill or it's either you who is going to um, allow this person to or to make room for this person to showcase his or her talent and try a new approach on his or her situation or this can be both of you maybe both of you are talented and um, you're fed up with the same routine same way you've been handled by your managers or your, your superiors and now you're trying out together without a boss but this time it's just you and that person have it your way then what's a possible outcome if you're going to do as advised Leo, please. Okay. Well, Leo, you're going to do just that. You're going to have a good business relationship. This is a baby card. So if it's a f romance out of a friendship baby. I don't know for some reason I wanted to say that. But... If this is a pure friendship, like a partnership, uh, a friendly partnership that turned out to be a business partnership, this can mean that a, a new business idea. If you'll notice, it's pentacles, so there is a, a new business idea that's going to be born. Or something new out of manifesting something, or out of showcasing a skill or a talent is going to be born it's going to start so there that's for the friendship set now for romantic prospects if you're single go for someone who is busy <laughs> financially socially emotionally secure but busy someone who's minding her own business and seems like he or she needs to relax and you're the best person to do to encourage him or her to do this just that so that's a type of person that you need to go to romantically and if you're in a relationship or you're married maybe you need to slow down or maybe you need to um, you need to be realistic about your duties maybe you've been working too hard you're not having enough time for each other you're not having enough time for family friends Socializing, relaxation. So, try to. So, oh no. Oh yeah. So, try to look at it that way. So, what's the best thing to do? Or why you need to go for that person? Or why you need to, um, Consider that approach is because um, you're needing funds. So you need someone, if you're single, go for someone who's busy. Because that means she's currently working on something and she might be able to help you with finances or financial concerns. And if you're in a, uh, in a marriage or relationship, you need to acknowledge the fact that you need to work hard even if you're not 
uh, having time to relax because you need you need the financial stability or it can be another way around you need to consider the fact that you need to relax because you've been working so hard at the same time you need to think about your budget can you afford to relax can you afford to travel and have fun and chill out so that's the advice and now for the outcome stability materially practically financially this is your card so this is the possible outcome if you're going to consider uh, your budget and how are you going to go about it so if you're single go for someone who is busy right now who is working so hard that she might help you with financial concerns maybe there are questions about processes that you need to you know tackle and this is you or this is the relationship you're going to be stable you're going to it's actually a slow movement of, of progress but it's going to happen so there that's from you and now for Virgos what type of people or what type of person should Virgos be careful to deal with possible enemies for Virgos <laughs> three cards okay hmm. I'm seeing a sadness card here there is someone who is you need to be careful about someone who is contemplating about something and I guess it's something that has got something to do with um, sadness because they're going to it's like diverting their attention towards travel negotiation and and um, relaxation or business I guess something to do with communication I think this is some sort of a diversion for this. Oh yeah, that's what I said, right? But yeah, someone's going to divert their their sadness to towards a project or a business or a, something that it's like a spur of the moment kind of thing. And I think this is going to be very inconvenient for you. They, the ones doesn't have plans they they just they're they are adventurous they're fire signs like whatever catches their their fire whatever uh, catches their fancy they're going to do just that and it seems like they're about to do it it's very inconvenient for you and that's where the conflict begins yeah maybe they're just going to throw their care in the wind and just you know like to hell with all of you i want to do this i'm going to do this i don't care if it's inconvenient on your part yeah that type of person so now this is for the advice why you should be aware of this person yeah they're leaving things behind and they don't care whatever doesn't serve them anymore they're going to leave it on your lap and yeah 
there I have a feeling that it's going to be very inconvenient for you. Yeah, he or she is being clouded by emotions right now. And he or she's not going to do something logical. Maybe you've planned to do something and all, all of a sudden she got pissed and she's going to leave you hanging. That's the type of person you need to be careful with. Now, what's the advice? Oh yeah, the advice is to be this. To not be dictate uh, to not allow yourself to finalize a decision all because you're angry all because you're pissed so still try to be logical try to be calm because the other person is no longer logical he or she is no longer calm so you need to be the exact opposite in order to handle the situation so what's a possible outcome if that'll be the case if you're going to do is advised. Here. Possible outcome. There will be no more confusions. Um, there will be um, no more back and forth approach on the decision. Like, if you're going to be logical if you're going if you're not going to be like this and you're going to be logical and calm and be into intuitive about how to handle things or how to handle this person this is going to be the outcome like well it's a sword so you you're going to be direct and assertive as to how you want things done and it seems like through this, uh, through the this approach, if you if you're going to avoid this um, emotional way of making decisions, um, this is going to help you, you know, put her in her proper place, or put him or her in his or her proper place. So that's the outcome. And now. For that's for the enemy, right? Now for the friendship. What type of people you should trust? What type of people should you get closer to? For Virgo, please. Okay, for Virgo. Um, you should get closer to someone, this can be, so disregard the gender, again, uh, this can be a man or a woman, um, aim to get closer to someone who has mass, uh, who has gained control on their urges, or someone who knows to balance their uh, spur of the moment or just to whatever is practical yeah it seems like um, this person is going to slow you down when you're you're trying to be naive or try to he's going to try to you know make you laugh if you're being too sad or being too negative about things or he's going to um, invite you to win, to an adventure uh, because you've been working too hard lately. This is the person that balances the the adventure, the adventure some uh, a way of thinking to the practical one. Like he knows when to party, he knows when to work hard. This is the the type of person you should go for. And why? 
what, what is going to happen? Why do you need to be close to this person? Okay, because it seems like there is some sort of uh, money coming in. So you might have the urge to spend it right away. Especially that this one's here, so this can be an opportunity. Uh, opportunity. Uh, Opportunist, uh, someone who's going to, you know, manipulate you behind your throne, so, there, and he's going to make you think twice, give you advice, and since he's a king of wands, he had been through a lot of adventures, a lot of, you know, spur of the moment decisions already, so there's a big possibility that he experienced this type of manipulation before and he's going to give you a heads up and oh yeah financial status definitely so you there is some sort of a big money coming in a promotion or financial independence kind of a situation and this will come into the situation or in the picture and he is manipulative. This can be someone professional that will entice you to invest into something or, yeah, invest into some sort of a business maybe. But this is going to give you a warning that I've been there, done that. I've met these type of people before and I don't want you to go through that because I've been there already. You have to be careful with your money because you're now being financially independent and death card is here. So something about your situation is about to die. Something about your situation is about to be terminated and be transformed. So might as well be extra careful about your situation. So yeah, that's why you need to get closer to this Um king of wands so this is actually a person with lots of um, uh, experiences before that had served them you know um, through the years and they've learned a lot so this is the type of person that you need to go to uh, I mean, you need to get closer to uh, this can be a boss a mentor or some sort of an elderly a uh, co-worker or someone who had been in the business longer than you are so yeah be closer to that person and the possible outcome why if you're going to do is advice you're going to listen to this king of wands So you will be uh, in a situation wherein you're just going to chill, observe, absorb uh, whatever observations or whatever conclusions you, uh, you've made up. So this is going to be you because of him. Yeah. And again, King of Cups is someone who's in control of her emotions. If this one is someone who's in control with his passion or his urges, this one is with his emotions. So this is going to be you in the process, or I mean, in the outcome. So for love or romantic prospects, well, if you're single, what type of person should you go for? Who among all of your suitors are going to be the best choice? Okay. For Virgo, please. Okay. Someone accomplished. Someone of who have finished something and is going to 
the next chapter of his life, the next chapter of his journey. Maybe someone who just finished his studies, or maybe someone who just got promoted, someone who just, um, just bought a house, or maybe someone who just finished a PhD. The, the, the main idea here is someone who completed something something important, something that will that will transform his or her situation to another chapter of his life. So there. That's the type of person you should go for. And if you're married or in a situation, that's the type of mentality that you should apply into this the your current relationship. That Maybe uh, there is something that had been going on for years now and you should try to finish it. You should try to complete it so that you can proceed to the next level. Yeah. Maybe propose. Or maybe it's time for the 25th anniversary um, renewal of vows. So, who knows? There is something that has been completed already and you need to proceed to the next level. That's how you should uh, view your current relationship status. It's the type of mentality you need to apply. Now, for the advice. Virgo, the advice for their romantic life is have faith, think things over, evaluate your emotions and your thoughts about a specific thing. So, if you're single um, and you chose someone uh, you have to choose this um, you have to make sure that it seems like you're fit to be with this person or you're an equal to this person you're you're aiming um, you should aim for someone who was accomplished someone who had been uh, through something and is now going through a transition in his or her life at the same time you need to evaluate if you're on the same level or um, do you really want this you need to evaluate your emotions do you really want this person do you really want the situation and how does this situation make you feel how does this um, person make you feel that's the advice possible outcome why is the herm the arm here please for Virgo okay for Virgo so oops. So if you're going to do is advice, if you're sure about your feelings and your thoughts about your situation, about the person, then it's going to be a successful partnership, a romantic partnership. It's going to be a, a meeting of the soul or, or a give and take of your needs and wants together. So that is the outcome for Virgo. Romantic prospects for Virgo. So there. That's it. That'll be Cancer Leo Virgo. So I'm going to proceed with part three. I think it's going to be tomorrow. Because I'm sleepy. It's 12.19 a.m. Here in Mino Mindanao, Philippines. And yeah, I'm going to start with part three tomorrow. That'll be Libra, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. And 
uh, again, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. If you would like to continue watching my videos, please subscribe, hit the bell uh, uh, icon so you will be notified for new uh, videos. And again, I, I post uh, forecasts on my Facebook page. That will be Tarot Readings by Kakao. And you can send an email at kakaosideout at gmail.com if you would like to have a personal reading with me. And by the way, I do not do Skype. I do not do video chat. I cannot multitask if that's going to be the case. I'm in the outskirts of the countryside, so I don't have connection. I'm from the Philippines, that's why. So, yeah. Uh, it'll be hard for me if it's going to be the case. And um, I prefer typing, actually, I prefer typing my, my, my readings. That way I can evaluate and re-evaluate and re-evaluate everything that I typed. If I, if I interpreted or expressed my thoughts concisely based on the type of person that I'm dealing with. And yeah, I guess that'll be all. Thank you so much for coming by. Bye-bye.